God bless you all. Last week I just uh, spoke about seek ye first the kingdom of God and the key to the kingdom of God is Jesus Christ and that's who you need to make Lord and Saviour and it's through Jesus and only Jesus that you become adopted into the family of God and receive the promise of eternity with God in heaven. Now, it starts with knowing the truth and the truth will set you free. In 1 John um, 1, 1 to 10 and 2, 1 and 2, I'll just read the verses for you. And this is exactly, it's a, it's a testimony of, uh, of John. He, he knew Jesus personally. He spent three years with John, uh, with, with Jesus, and Jesus taught them, and it's his testimony of who Jesus is. So this is, isn't my testimony, this is coming directly from, from John himself. And he says, that which was in the beginning, which we have heard, which, he, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled concerning the word of God. The word was manifested and, and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you that eternal life which was in the Father and was manifested to us. That which we have seen and heard we declare to you that you also may have fellowship with us and truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the message which we have heard from him, that's Jesus, and declare to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, that's sin, we lie and do not practice truth but if we walk in the light and he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we say that we, we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, that's Jesus Christ the righteous. And he himself is a propitiation of our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. And these things we write to you, that your joy may be full. So, we have a lot of people, and a lot of Christians have been baptised, and, and uh, they seek to... to give praise to God and, and follow Jesus but one thing I want to make clear here is that for you to have your salvation you must make Jesus Lord first then Jesus becomes your saviour so it's by applying your faith and your belief that you can ask Jesus into your heart receive forgiveness of your sins and it's only through Jesus that you'll make it to heaven. Now, no good person, no generous person, no nice person will make it to heaven. Good works will not get you to heaven. Jesus said, the only way to the Father is through me. He says, no one comes to the Father except through me. 
So the only people that are going to get to heaven are the ones that, the ones that are saved. That means you need to be born again. So make Jesus your Lord first. Then he becomes your saviour. The kingdom of God can only be accessed through acknowledging the truth, and that is Jesus Christ, and giving your heart, making it his throne and dwelling place by being born again spiritually, a gift from on high. That's God's Holy Spirit in power and might, which is death to self and new life in Jesus Christ in the wholeness of God's Holy Spirit. Abide in the truth, that's Jesus, you also in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. The only way to get that is to make Jesus your Lord and Saviour. So no one is going to get through through to heaven without Jesus. And there are a lot of different religions we, and we all believe that if we're a good person, how often do you hear someone says, say, I'm a good person, I'll make it to heaven. Or I know that, that person over there, they were really good people, they've got a place in heaven. That's not what it says in the Bible. The Word of God says that you'll only get there through Jesus Christ. There's no other way. So all your other religions and, and uh, uh, beliefs, you're deceiving everybody and you're actually pulling everybody and teaming them up with the devil. You're on the devil's team, not the kingdom team. So what I'm going to urge you to do is, is uh, acknowledge Jesus today, ask God to forgive your sins and make Jesus your Lord and your Saviour today. So the best way to do that is to humble yourself, cry out to God, acknowledge that you're a sinner, and tell Jesus that you believe in him, then ask, ask forgiveness and ask him into your heart. Now I'm going to share a quick prayer, it's called the Sinner's Prayer, and remember that you need to make Jesus Lord of your life first. You need to die to yourself and to be born again in the Holy Spirit and make Jesus your Lord and your Saviour. So just say this with us and this is your time and, and it's your day for a miracle. You know the greatest miracle and in, in the Bible we, we see all the wonderful things that Jesus did and he raised people from the dead, restored the sight to blind people, he cured deaf ears, uh, cured limbs, he healed people, he set the captives free, he broke the bondages of sin over you. Actually, as soon as you're born again, the power of the Holy Spirit will break the chains of sin on you and you'll be restored to a new life and you'll have the power of the Holy Spirit to have victory and you can make the choices over your life. Not to keep sinning and to grow in a personal relationship in Jesus with God the Father. And it's your choice and the greatest miracle the day when you surrender, making Jesus your day, your Lord and your Saviour. You can do that now. Uh, don't forsake him. If you've got a hardened heart, cry out to God to, to re remove that and, and ask him to fill you with his love and compassion and peace. Just say this with us. I repent of my sin. Jesus died for me, that you were crucified, and that you rose again from the dead for me. And ask Jesus personally into your heart. Just go to him and say, I believe you died on the cross, I believe in you, and I want to make you my Lord and my Saviour today. Jesus, come into my heart, receive the Holy Spirit and the love of God in the name of Jesus. Amen.